we are going to have to talk about Zoho Assist and how it's important uh, in software solutions for IT management today. So what is this magic product that is Zoho Assist? Zoho Assist is our platform that allows us to do, of course, remote access to your computers, your company's computers, both inside your domain, outside your domain, and so forth. Zoho Assist is our cloud-based remote support platform. Uh, like I was saying, it enables you to provide support to customers and their devices, as well as your employees. Assist uh, allows you to access them from both inside your domain, remote locations, etc. The whole reason that we're going to talk about it is the pain points. If you're, of course, in IT, you know that we have a lot of pain points as far as for time management issues, the increasing technology needs that we have. 20 years ago, we had a desktop, we had a printer. Now we have a desktop, a printer, iPads, you know, a myriad of different devices. Everybody's got at least five things on them right now, right? Laptop, iPad, maybe one, two phones, smartwatch, etc. We didn't have that stuff before. So now instead of a normal technician taking care of three devices per person, now we're taking care of five to 10. That eats up additional time. So we gotta find a way to work around that. Of course, everybody heard from the pandemic, IT became extremely valuable, the most important people in the company. So everybody in IT got slammed. We immediately got overworked. So we gotta find a way around that. Another thing is internal collaboration. As your IT team grows, now you have maybe one, two, three, four technicians all working on the same situation. How are you gonna make sure that those teams are talking to each other, that those different people are not addressing the same problem over when somebody else has already fixed it? And the final thing is ticket turn time. That's the golden thing. You wanna be able to get that ticket in, get that issue diagnosed, then get that issue resolved. If we can get those quick ticket turn times, we're gonna have happy employees, happy customers. So the way that we're gonna do that is with Zoho Assist. Now, without Zoho Assist, this would be one of our typical IT timeline or timelines for a trouble ticket. You have Bob, he comes in in the morning, sits down at his computer, tries to log in, gets on, realizes, you know what? My connection is slow, something is wrong, I don't have audio, I'm not seeing what's going on. So Bob decides, you know what? Let me go get a cup of coffee. I'm gonna come back to my computer, maybe it just needs a minute to get set up. Goes and gets his cup of coffee, he's coming back down the hallway, stops and talks to somebody about the Cowboys football game from last night. Finally gets back to his desk, realizes that it's still not working, goes ahead and submits a ticket. Now we've started the ticket process time. So once that ticket goes in, it has to go to a technician. If all your techs are busy, he's gonna wait for somebody to grab that ticket and start addressing it. Once that technician gets that ticket, contacts Bob. You know what, let me get out to your office. Maybe he's on a higher floor, maybe he's at a remote location. Now we've got travel time involved. Once the tech gets there, has to diagnose, figure out what's going on, run with it from there. So now Bob's like, hey man, my computer looks good. I'm all right. Let me go ahead and go about my business day. Bob starts working, works for about 30 minutes, realizes, hey, my email's not connected. Something else is wrong. So now he goes and reopens that trouble ticket, but that technician has already moved on. He's back, moving down the road, handling another ticket. So now we have additional downtime. Trouble tech gets reopened, tech has to readdress it, second visit. Finally, possibly after an entire 24, 48 hours, Bob is 100% again and working. Got downtime for Bob. We've got possibly lost profits, you know, things like that. Bob is kind of happy about the situation. It's working now, I'll get my job done. So let's go ahead and look at the same situation, but using Zoho Assist. Bob comes in gets his coffee, or Bob comes in, sits down at the computer, realizes something's wrong, goes and gets a cup of coffee, comes back to his computer, puts in the same ticket. Immediately that ticket pops up, the tech sees it, calls Bob. Hey Bob, what's going on? Well, my computer's not working, it's not right. Well, you know what Bob, let me get you to do this. Go to join.zoho.com, type in these six or nine digits, let's get connected. Tech goes in, realizes right away, Bob's got some pending updates. Bob gets logged in. Hey man, my email's not working. Oh, let's just reset your password. Resets his password, boom, he's ready to go. Bob's coffee's still hot. The technician's coffee's still hot. So now everybody's enjoyed their warm cup of coffee. Bob's working, profits are being made. Everybody's happy at this point. Let's take a look at what some of the actual screens look like in action. This screen, if you've never seen it, is what the technician normally sees on their side. When you open up Assist, go to the website, 
it gives you an option to start a remote session. You click start now. Once you click start now, it's gonna go ahead and generate the session with the secure ID number, which you can either A, tell them verbally, send it to them via email, or also send them an invite via SMS text messaging. So there's multiple options. Once you send that to the person or your customer and get them connected, there we go. You just have the customer type join.zoho.com in one of their browsers, type in the number, they can join in. If you send them the email link or the SMS, all they have to do is click on the link, automatic connection. Now, with the security settings, that particular nine digit key is tethered to this session. So nobody will experience Zoom bombs or anything like that. You're not gonna have to worry about somebody jumping in your session and not realizing that they're in the right session or possibly somebody doing something malicious and trying to get access to your session. So now there's another system inside of Zoho, a sys called Service Queue. Service Queue is kind of attended for larger organizations. What it allows you to do is have a unique website where any of your employees or customers can go and submit a trouble ticket. Once that trouble ticket is submitted, a technician will see that trouble ticket be submitted and they can instantly join a session from that trouble ticket with the customer or organization user. Technician is what you normally see on the left side. The customer is what they would see on the right side. So as you can see here, welcome to Zilker Tech, self-service portal. They put in their name, email address, describe the issue, submit the ticket, goes into the queue on the left-hand side, technician grabs it, starts his connection, assists the customer, assists your, assists your employee, gets out right away, ticket is turned very quickly. The third part, of Zoho Assist is unattended access. This is really great for system admins, domain admins, and such. I'll admit, I even use it at home to help my daughter with her computer. She's uh, very intelligent, but she's unfortunately one of those uh, people that uh, are intelligent enough to cause problems with her computer, if you know. Unassisted access gives you that ability to have, an app, or to have the application pre-installed on a system. You can quickly gain access, restart the computer, go in, modify system parameters, do updates, anything like that that needs to be done, troubleshooting and so forth. So these three main key parts of Zoho Assist are what's gonna help you solve those pain points. We already have a lot of companies and organizations using those three key components of Zoho Assist. Using the instant on-demand remote support capabilities, companies and users have the ability to reach a broad spectrum of application or not of operating systems. If you're on an Apple, Apple environment, if you're on a Windows environment, you can have them cross talk to each other. If you have Linux users, if you have Android users, there was a gentleman that I was speaking to earlier where he was discussing he has a lot of users on iPads. Well, you can access iPads. You can't control, but you can see what the user is experiencing. You can see where they're having the problem quickly and easily direct them through the situation. During the pandemic, one of our uh, company or one of our customer testimonials was actually with a local university, not too far from here, just an hour south, Texas A&M University in San Antonio. They actually adopted and started using Zoho Assist there for their IT teams to, because they were realizing that there was too many people, they were remote, did not have access, they couldn't get to them, not just because of the pandemic, but because of their location. So an actual testimonial from them, Zoho Assist was a product that we thought would be great for using during the pandemic. But since the pandemic, nothing has reverted to the way it was before, which y'all know that's true. There's more people working remote, less people coming back to the office. They are now using remote assist tools daily to do their system admin work. Going on to the service queue side, where you can actually have the remote session set up, have somebody join a queue. We have, uh, Concentrix has 250,000 employees worldwide, and they were looking for a solution to enable their employees to submit service requests when required. They now use it as a, to optimize their internal IT support operations through Zoho Assist. The internal IT team, which is small, has the ability to utilize the service queue function as a direct channel for their employees to submit issues with their team and have it resolved effectively over a remote session quickly and easily. Now, as far as for the unattended remote access part, I thought this one was interesting when I read it because it does make a lot of sense. So Great Eastern Shipping Company actually uses un unattended access very, very integrally with their systems. So Great Eastern Shipping Company has ships sailing all across the world. 
Uh, they were in need of a tool that would enable them to access all the remote devices for the company where security is paramount. Because, of course, you know, you don't want anybody messing with a billion dollar ship and all their cargo that's on it. And uh, when they were dealing with the remote connections in the maritime industry, Zoho Assist's stringent security measures gave them a peace of mind. Moreover, Zoho Assist's unintended access feature has been a key highlight for them when dealing with urgent issues when they arise during odd hours because they're able to troubleshoot and resolve the problems without the crew's approval or even if they're busy with other tasks. In a normal business, the last thing you want to do is take somebody away from something that they're already doing. Not only does that upset the business flow, but it also upsets the person. Here's some of the other companies. They were actually listed in the system as using Zoho Assist and their customer testimonials. And uh, they're currently using it. FedEx, Motorola, Fresh Direct, Isuzu, and so forth. So it's, it's, it's in wide abundance. It's in wide use. All these companies are finding great ways to use this product. Thank you.